So which one of these fractions, three halves or four thirds, is larger? Well, they're both improper fractions because the numerator is larger than the denominator. But that really doesn't matter that much here. Because if we could find a common denominator, right now we have two and three, but if that were the same, we could just compare the numerators and we'd know whether three halves is greater than, less than, or equal to four thirds. So let's do that. Let's multiply two times three. Two times three, that equals six. Down here, let's multiply three times two, because three times two, that equals six. But we can't just multiply the denominator by two, we do need to multiply the numerator by two as well. Two over two is one, so we're just multiplying by one. We don't really change the value, just the way it's written. Four times two is eight. Eight six, that's an equivalent fraction to four thirds. They have the same value. Up here, let's multiply by three, so we have three over three. Three times three is nine. And now you see we have the same denominator, we're just gonna compare the numerators. And nine, that's greater than eight. So nine six is greater than eight six. Only by one six, nine minus eight is one. So only by one six, but it's still greater. Since these are equivalent here and these are equivalent, that means that three halves, that's gonna be greater than four thirds as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.